the idea of this global reef expedition is to go to the most pristine sites if you will the sites the furthest away from human habitation where really nothing else than the climate can have an impact and look at them and try to see how the climate impacts these very pristine very otherwise unimpacted reefs and with that sort of you know put a thermometer into mother ocean's mouth and take her temperature so to speak so the idea is to go to the most distant reefs so as to not confuse local man-made impacts with climate change impacts and with that get a yardstick of climate change on reefs now maybe do it again in 10 years we just finished a uh, four-year initiative in the red sea where we went to all the offshore reefs uh, there's a lot of pretty far offshore reefs 50 60 kilometers offshore uh, which show impact the worrying thing we find is there's no such thing as an unimpacted reef now change is natural in the ocean we shouldn't ever expect a reef not to have changed since somebody else was there it's a living system we change I unfortunately don't get prettier why should a reef right uh, but the problem is we see a very clear pattern we see more diseases we see more dieback in certain species or species groups that have a very specific function so a coral person with a specific address on the reef doesn't matter which reef you are is always that person with that address that has a problem that indicates to us that there is a ubiquitous footprint of something since it's not people on this offshore reef it really can only be climate so it seems to be that climate is making corals smaller increasing mortality increasing diseases and um, lowering cover this is what we see worldwide <laughs>